Well, it's been a while since we jumped into the Battle of the Bulge, my friends. And I'm gonna play the La Roche Battle Decreasing the Bulge. It's a bit of a challenge for the Americans, so I hope that makes it a fun little fight. As you can see, we've got some mortar teams, some medium MGs, medium tank killers. I presume those are Hellcats, is that what they are? As well as some good old-fashioned infantry. All being led by Major Thomas here, guys. The 117th Infantry Regiment trying to stop the Blitzkrieg during the Battle of the Bulge. Let's jump right in. All right, folks, we've got a plan here, but frankly, uh, this is a tough little mission where we have to make it through a nice little city setting, well, a town setting anyway, and also deal with several German tanks in this particular town. So I'm thinking the first thing before we even move our tanks out is to find out where theirs are. Um, I'll also keep the bazooka back here. We'll probably need that at some point. But what I want to do is make a push for the bridge. I know it's dangerous, but really we need to find out what the hell is on the other side here. Um, we need to try to make it over quickly. And we could try to push north, but I think... It's important to just focus on one location, and La Roche looks like the location to be looking at here. Let's grab some medium infantry as well, move them quickly, and try to get to that side. Now, I will keep this tank killer here, and I'm going to keep this tank killer over here because, again, we are dedicating our attack to this side at the south bridge. Um, we'll move medium infantry forward just to provide cover, and the same is true with the scouts. In fact... We can kind of send the scouts forward as well. We're just pushing this south bridge area. If we spot anything there, of course, we're going to start opening up. In fact, I'll keep machine guns there. I'll keep our platoon leader over here where the medium infantry is. And I will even move up the platoon leader over here uh, just to make sure that we're nice and compact. Yeah, this might not be the best approach because we are pretty compact. But I'd like to think that our numbers are going to make the difference on this one. I'll also move with this rifle squad over to Hufale's area. And wherever we spot the enemy, we shall open fire. Here we go, boys. Wish us luck. And I'm already seeing some enemy half-tracks. Potentially enemy tanks. Oh, boy. That was fast. Holy hell, that was fast. Okay. Flame half-track is destroyed at the same time. Let's just push and take these locations. There we go. We took the south bridge. No, we're going to have to push up with even more men. Come on, come on, come on. Can't push up with the platoon leaders. Let's grab this medium infantry. Push into Capel de Roche. And actually, it looks like our other infantry got in there fairly easily without any difficulty. Barrage Man, available. I would love to know what just happened there. Ah! Holy hell. Sergeant! We do have an artillery barrage available. But I think I'd rather use our mortars for now. And in fact, this, our mortars could be under fire here. Let's hit the platoon leader. Nice time to grab and kill a platoon leader, and we've got a Stug tank right to the east here. Want to make sure we keep an eye on that thing? A tank killer versus a tank killer. Not sure I like our odds on that. All right, so I want to dominate this side of the actual river, because I'd like to get the bazooka over to where that Stug is. Oh, boy. Move, boys, move! Let's push with the tank killer. We gotta push. We got to push, boys. Nice, nice shots by our men. And again, I am not yet convinced that we should use the um, artillery strike. We will eventually use it. But I'm gonna hold for now. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, bazooka men. Make sure we fire at that platoon leader. I want some more of the platoon leader's men down. And I mean, the crazy thing is, like, we're behind their lines, but they're right there. They're extremely close, and the bazooka is getting to the building. Oh, baby. Oh, come on. We need a happy ending here. Let me also just go ahead and grab the Hufalese area. Here we go, guys. Wish the bazooka luck. Whoa, I did not. My goodness, the medium tank actually popped smoke. What a smart move. 
Here we go. That's a kill. That is a kill, boys. We got them. I'm going to follow up with the rifle team just to make sure that crew doesn't end up taking out our bazooka team. Surrender while you can, Germans. And you know what? Let's push the machine. Actually, let's not push the machine gun forward. Let's try and target the enemy with the MG. So I'm going to kind of push the MG a little out of cover. Like right there. But just to target that enemy HQ. And of course, look at that enemy tank directly ahead. Gotta be aware of that. So I'm going to push the tank killer forward. And I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemy Panzers here. Light him up. Good shooting. Good shooting, boys. No survivors. Let's push the rifle team up. Oh, man. We are getting awfully close. Wish us luck, boys. Now I'm tempted to actually drop the Artie. I have no hope that the Artie is going to be able to kill their tanks. But maybe we should drop it right here and get a bunch of their infantry. Or alternatively try to get their half track. And look at that, guys. We got a kill on the Panzer. Unbelievable, guys. Things are going unbelievably well for us here. And I might go for that second tank. I see that burning half track as well, which looks wonderful. This is how to stop the push at the bulge. The rush is also ours, guys. And I am officially going to start pushing forward over here to the marsh. Let's make sure our medium mortar is firing in that direction as well. Just try and hit that location. It's going to be damn tough to deal with, honestly. But it looks like we wiped out the enemy command team, which is a huge, huge bonus. And now let's make it to Capel La Roche. Pushing both with the rifle team and the medium infantry. Come on, boys. Drop it right there, guys. Artillery incoming. I'm calling it. I mean, I really want to hit that building. The problem is, they have all their men bunched up here, so this is definitely a better option. Push the tank killer forward. Let's get another one. All right, look at that. The boys are moving straight towards Capella Roche, boys. Absolutely wonderful. Now let's see how that artillery comes in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to see. Well, at least we knocked out some of the guys in that building, but unfortunately, um, it looks like our artillery didn't manage to hit much of anything over here. So our entire rifle team got killed running across there. Um, I'm definitely going to have to move the platoon leader over there. I know it's a risk, but we've got to take control of that area. And next, perhaps the north bridge. In fact, getting that mortar half track would be huge, so let's move the bazooka team up. Man, I love the Battle of the Bulge going on right now. This is wonderful. Definitely working out in our favor. Although it's still a lot left to do, that's for sure. And look at that, we've got another bazooka team. Not aware of this one. Pick up their platoon. Captain. Oh, damn! And that's the enemy armor right there. He's moving in a range of our tank, guys. Yet another chance for us to get a kill. We need to pull back. Holy hell. Heavily focused on our platoon right now, our command platoon, with reason. We've got to try to get some vengeance for those those men. Zuka's also making it over there. Can't move, damn it. We are hit for sure. And I think he knows that. That's why he's not moving into our line of sight. Alright, let's try to fire at the medium tank. 
Bazooka can hit from this distance, but it's going to be a hard shot. We're pinned down. Let's take this bazooka and move them here. An absolute nightmare, just like the real Battle of the Bulge. I can see it now. I mean, just making it across to that building was hell. And they've got a trench line right there. Pretty vicious, folks. Holy hell. I'm hoping that this is a frozen river, because I'm going to try to push the bazooka right up there. Nope, never mind. Just stay here. Just stay here. In fact, we'll pop some smoke. Look at all the infantry there, guys. An absolute turkey shoot if we could just get some men up there. We're pinned down! Oh! Damn, one of our loaders is killed. Just the entire building is getting wasted. We've got to try and get some casualties out, out there. Can't see a damn thing at the moment. Let's see if the medium mortar can get some shots. And unfortunately, I think he's out of standard mortar rounds. It's another shot from the bazooka. He is trying to get some kills. And we are still killing guys across the river here. Let's just see if he can sneak. We'll do our best here with this bazooka, guys. May have been a hit, unfortunately didn't do any damage to him. And we're just going to sneak forward with the platoon leader guys to start getting some shots. That was another hit. I mean, he is managing to actually hit this tank. The question is, is he getting any, any damage on the tank? That bazooka right there, man. Just gotta, he just has to clear the bridge and he can fire for sure. Nice. Get him. Get the tank. Bazooka gunner, come on. Here we go, folks. He's gonna fire. He's gonna fire. Damn it, no. He just lost his nerve. Just lost his nerve, man. He had a chance there. Right. Looks like the platoon leader is starting to get in range. Or at least will be in range fairly soon here. But I want to remain sneaking, of course. And let's grab this medium machine gun and move him over here as well. We've had situations where we can't destroy every single tank on the field, and we've still come out on top. So we just have to remain confident and keep on fighting. How many times do you have to shoot a building? My god. Gotta move that machine gun to the edge of the woods, whether we want to or not. Let's make it happen. Same with this platoon leader, guys. We've got to be aggressive. Taking fire! Let's 
Still trying to make a push over here to the North Bridge. Unbelievable, man. Uh, let's grab this platoon HQ as well. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything we can do about that medium tank. They are not going to let us get over there. I'm actually going to divert east. Pick up your weapon! Negative, let's just retreat, just fall back, um, and hopefully they'll come for this medium tank, uh, and we'll be able to ambush them. That's, I think that's our best hope in this situation. Although we do hold more victory locations than the enemy, it could be that they have more casualties on us. We'll soon find out. We're gonna fall back. It's good to see the gunfight is still going on in some parts of the city, at least. Yeah, for that tank, I think we really need this thing to push forward. So he's actually repairing the tank. I didn't even know you could do that in this game. I, I knew you could do it in between turns, but not during an actual fight. So I am going to attempt to get a truce. Now, if you look at the morale, they have slightly lower morale than us. Just for that reason alone, we should hold off on a truce. So as you can see, we're still getting kills. Look at this. Yeah, no, we're going to hold off on the truce. In fact, I'm going to move forward with the platoon leader here. Keep on getting shots wherever we can. Looks like our tank is getting some decent shots here. Gotta love it when the enemy moves into your line of sight. Shoot them, boys. Even the platoon HQ can get in on this action, guys. Some beautiful hits. Things were looking pretty rough. Suddenly, I'm not so sure I want to accept a ceasefire. Uh, in fact, we'll move this platoon HQ in here as well. Uh, just to maximize firepower, even the vehicle crew. Hell. I think actually everything down this path is dead. So the remaining guys are going to be over here to the left. Let's see if the medium MG can spot any of them. Hmm, not quite. So one option here. I know the bazooka has anti-tank weapons, but wait a minute. We have an airstrike, boys. Here we go. Let's hit that medium tank and knock her out for good. Wish us luck. This thing better come in hot. Well, guys, sorry you didn't get to witness the beauty of that airstrike. Unfortunately, with Bandicam running and the airstrike together, it seems the game crashed. We did get a victory there. That ended the German morale in the battle, subsequently giving us the win. Although I'm really sorry that we couldn't get that casualty count like we usually do on these battles. Again, with these older games, sometimes they just don't run that great on Bandicam. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and always subscribe if you can. Um, I would also recommend, just let me know in the comments down below, what other close combat games you would like to see. If you want to buy this particular one, I believe it's available on GOG Galaxy. I'm not sure there's anywhere else where they actually sell this, but I could be wrong. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and see you on the next one.